Hi, my name is Joshua with Kids Ministry Tools, and in this video we're going to do an object lesson about the gospel. The word gospel means good news, and boy do we have good news for you today. Jesus loves you. Isn't that good news? He loves everything about you except one thing. You know what that one thing is he doesn't love? Our sin. And we all are born with sin. You see, one day you were born, and when you were born, as soon as you were born, you were born into sin. The Bible says, wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sin. Every last one of us were born with sin. But there is somebody who loves you so much that he died, was buried, and rose again so that one day you can accept him as your personal Savior and he can wash away every last sin. He can pay for all of them, the sin that you've done, the sin that you do, and even the sin that you will do. All of them are paid for by Jesus. Jesus loves you so much. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That simple. Now, how do we make these? Okay, so to make this trick, all you need is three pieces of paper. And I use these cardstock because it's like super simple to get these three by fives. And then you'll need a marker, whether red or black. I use the black for the heart and the red for the outline for the first paper. Anyhow, a Zatu knife and some double-sided tape. The double-sided tape you'll need to be able to tape on the back. You'll see that in a minute. And then some scissors. Okay, anyway. So first, you're gonna go ahead and draw a heart. And uh, I like using the red to differentiate so that I can see the border. So just kind of draw a heart real quick. Okay, and then I use the X-Acto knife to go ahead and cut out the heart. Um, if you have like a cricket or something to do it perfectly, obviously that would be a better choice. But I uh, use the X-Acto knife and I cut out the heart and it actually worked out better to be able to cut it out over the edge of the table so that you don't cut your finger. And next, for this one, I decided to go ahead and use the red marker to make the heart bigger. Uh, that way you can see the black and the white um, on the inside of the heart a little bit more, just to make a bigger red border. So that's what I'm doing next. Ta-da! Anyhow, so you want to make sure that it dries at least for a second before you start to try to put the papers together. But anyhow, so for the back two papers, this is very important. So you're going to want to make sure that the back two flaps can cover the inside of the heart. So whether the black flap or the white flap, they need to be able to cover the heart so that you can't see the other color through it. So basically what you're gonna do here, uh, you're gonna cut, and then you're gonna make sure that you don't cut it too small. If you do, you just have to get another piece of paper. But anyway, and then you're gonna paste it with the double-sided tape and make sure that the solid white is showing through the heart instead of the lines of the three by five card. And once you have that secure, you're gonna go ahead and copy paste and do the same for the black. And then you're gonna color it in using a Sharpie or even if you have some black card stock that's about the same poundage, uh, you can use that paper instead. But for me, uh, I went with the Sharpie way. All right, next you're gonna use the double-sided tape as well for this one. You may wanna let it set up and dry for a little bit, that way it can get hard. And then you're gonna paste it to the back just like you did the white one. All right, so now you should have both flaps working and uh, they'll overlap each other. I found it working best if I actually shave off the corners and kind of round them off. Just make sure that you don't cut off so much that you can see the other color through the heart. And there you have it. It's just as simple as that to make. And the kids will be like, what just happened? What, no way. And that is how you make this simple gospel trick and make sure that you slap the right side, okay? The right side being whichever side you want to show, that's the side that you slap. And so this side being the black, you wanna hit that side and it'll pop into the front of the other one. Then on this one, you wanna slap that one and it'll pop in front of the other one. But what they see though, is when you flap that side or flap that side or even flick it. And I found that it only lasts about maybe 45, maybe 50 times of slapping it. And then the paper is pretty much eaten up and it's beaten up and it won't work anymore. And so then you make a new one, right? So if you make about 10 of these, it'd probably last you a long time. But anyhow, that is such an easy object lesson to show boys and girls 
once your heart was clean, then sin came in. But once Jesus comes in, boy, he makes it clean again. Isn't that simple? Hey, I hope you enjoy this object lesson, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.